Hey everyone, this is Terry. Today I'm going to talk to you about BES4. And specifically, I'm going to talk to you about the new Power Pack 3, which is just chock full of templates. There are over a hundred combinations out there that you can use. Let me show you a few examples. So here's a cute little birth announcement for a child whose name's Chris. And we'll just continue through here. Here's another birth announcement, and it's more like word art. And here's a cute one for a baby girl. Now, there's more than baby themes here. Here's a birthday theme and even sports theme. So let's see how this works. When you purchase an upgrade or power pack, what happens is you activate it over here where it says open license activator up in the upper right-hand corner. And after you've entered in your activation code, you'll have to restart your machine. You'll get the templates added. Here's an icon. Now, if it's a template that you want to edit, and that you have on the screen like this one, you'll go to edit. But let's just create a new one. So we'll go up here to the, the B symbol, or, and then we'll go ahead and choose File New. Now we'll go to Templates, and you'll see you have babies, you have birthday, you have children, you have family, you have holidays, you have modern designs, seasons, sewing and crafts, sports, super kids, teens and tweens, and weddings. Let's just look at children, and what we'll do is we'll select this one, and we'll choose OK. Now, the neat thing about this is this, the, everything has been created for you. So if you wanted to have something that says eat, sleep, dance, repeat, you could do that, and the font's been selected, and you can create this for a little girl. Let's look at a couple of things. First of all, we're going to look at the decorations to see what we have. So we have skating. We have a cheerleader. We even have a football helmet. Let's choose that and choose OK. So it's not going to be good to have eat, sleep, dance, and re repeat. So instead of dance, let's just say football or, or sports or something like that. So eat, sleep, sports, and repeat. And let's just go ahead and see what that looks like. Now, sometimes you may not like it in the font that you selected, but that doesn't look bad. Now, if this was a girls' football team, it would be great, wouldn't it? But let's change this up a little bit so it's for a guy. So we'll change a couple of these colors. I don't think pink's going to work. So let's make that kind of this Asian blue, and let's choose import. That looks pretty good. All right, let's choose the next one, and we'll make that kind of a green color and choose import. That's pretty good. And we don't want this lavender. We're going to replace that. And I think on that helmet, mm, I'll make it kind of a gold color and choose import. Well, this is looking more like a guy every moment. And we're going to replace that star and we'll make it this darker blue. So you get the general idea. You can change all of that, but you can also go in and change it. Let's say that instead of saying this, you wanted this to be something for a team, and it's all going to have football on it. Can you change it and make it for a team? Of course you can. So let's just go in here. Instead of eat, sleep, and sports, we're going to change all that, but we really need to do each line as a whole. So instead of eat, we're going to make that mark. And on the next line, we'll click on it. And Mark's last name is Jones. We need to double click, though. And let's just say you could have sports. Let's just say it's tigers. So we'll put tigers. And he's number, let's make it number 10. You could do that change. And we'll just go ahead and choose the tab key. That takes you off that field. 
So here you see, now you have Mark Jones Tigers. Now what if you were making this for a team, even though this is in the sports category, and you wanted to create a multiple? Click here, and this is where you choose plus. This guy's name is Jason, and his last name is Smith. The team, of course, is Tigers, and he's number 15, and we'll choose OK. Now, you don't really see that second one. All you have to do is arrow, and you'll be able to see that next one, and here it is. All right, so this gives you a real good example how you can change these. Now, you need to go back. You'll see this says non-editable. Go back to your first one, and on your first page, that is editable. editable. So if you wanted to change a color on this, you could do that. Let's say that you don't really like this light blue and you want to replace it to something darker. You can do that and choose import, and it's already done. You can also add the background, and let's say you wanted to see what this is going to look like on a light gray color. You can do that and choose OK. And maybe this is going to be on a jersey, and you want to know, are these colors really going to look good? Well, one thing you see, this face mask really doesn't look great. So what I'm going to do is click this, and I, I need to make that a darker gray. So here's the colors. I'll choose import. Hey, that looks better already. I think you get the general idea about this. You can change the size of the design as well. Let's say that this is going to be on a shirt and you want it to be larger, let's say about 10 inches, but you want it to be proportional, you can change that as well. So we'll get a good idea of what it's going to look like and give it a moment so that it goes through and generates those stitches. Hey, that looks great. Now this is a time to save this. So let's choose save. I'll just, it says children's two template. I'm going to leave that, but I'm going to put on here sports template and choose save. And save it as a BRF file. That means you can go in and edit it. So let's just give it a moment to generate. And I'll choose OK. And then what's going to happen is it's going to open up. Now don't worry if it says not responding because it's working. All right, I've got this all ready to stitch out on that jersey so that I can see Jason Smith's design on here. And I can save this if I want in a PES file format. So if you're considering the templates, I, I, I think that it's going to be something that I will use. You can't go in and add other designs that I've seen as far as adding other motifs to a template like this unless you're going to select that helmet and remove it, which you could do, and go to design and add something, but it kind of defeats the purpose of the template. Hey, I'm Terry Maffitt. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. I have to tell you that I do have a Facebook group, and the name of it is Just Stitching, and that's Stitching without a G, with the Brother Luminaire. There are also Facebook groups out there that are for BES4, and if you have BES4 software, I really do recommend that you join one of those groups. I hope you like my videos, and thank you so much for your time today. Have a blessed day.